Today in Snapseed, I will try to make this image pop by using a ton of selective edits and a few layers of curves. Watch the complete video for some handy tips. First, I will straighten the image using the rotate tool. And apply it. Next, I will do some standard tuning by going to the tune image and increasing the shadows to get some details back in the darker areas and decreasing the highlights. You can see details getting back in the sky. And I will apply this. Next, I will apply some contrast using the curves tool. So here I will just apply the preset soft contrast. Next I will apply the vintage filter with the preset 12 and darken the overall image further by increasing the style strength. And also vignette strength. And apply it. Now I will selectively Remove the mask, go to the stacks tool, view edits, vintage and brush. Here I will remove the mask, remove the effect with the transparency level set at 0. And I will fine tune the selection here. see the before and after and apply it. Next I will use selective filter to brighten some parts. Here I will brighten this golden color to make it pop and I will also add saturation. Also a little contrast. Same thing I will apply on top of the fountain. I will also apply it here to make the structure pop. I will increase the structure a little. Add contrast and some brightness. Also darken the cyan's a bit here. The blues here at the bottom of the fountain. So that the gold pops a bit. So you can see the difference here. I will try to add one more selective filter here. And I will apply this. Next I will do some dodging using the brush tool. With the dodge and burn value at 5, I will try to brush it on the greens a bit to make it pop. Also add a saturation by brushing on top of the greens. And I will apply it. Next I will use curves to add some contrast. Also 
give it a faded look so i will just drag the lowest point, low point little bit upwards here the blacks are getting crushed and increase the brightness of the highlights a bit similarly i will add blue to the overall image by selecting the blue color option and dragging the point upward and also dragging the lowest point a little bit upwards so you can see the difference here now i will try to add some color to the brightest part of the sky again i will use the curves here i will be using the color options red so here you can see how when i drag the upper point the top point the highlights are getting affected here i have to make sure only the brightest parts are getting affected so I will just drag the middle of the curve a little bit down. Oh, now it is getting affected. The brightness, the color is applied only to the brightest part. I will also add a bit of yellow to the same part by dragging the blue color down. The opposite of blue is yellow, so. I am dragging the blue curve down so it adds yellow to the highlights. So you can see the difference here. So here is the before and after. I will apply this. Now I will add more color to the sky. I will go to tools, use the select to filter and here I will just decrease the brightness a bit, increase the saturation and one more selective filter. With a small selection here, I will brighten it and also add a little bit of saturation. So. I will apply this so if you want you can also add some contrast here to make it further apart but I will cancel this so this is the final image I will go to view edits and here are the edits layer wise so we have turned this image and made the fountain pop and also added color to the sky and also some pop the greens on the hill so here is the original and the final image thanks for watching catch you soon